Go with me to Acts chapter 2. And I want you to see in verse number 1. And when the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. I want you to understand, I'm speaking to you prophetically. I told you that the church has been, is coming to a time of testing. I'm not talking about the physical church of buildings. See, church is not a building with brick and mortar. Amen. That's right. It is hearts that want the presence of God. Yes. I'm talking about people that really want the God's presence. We're going to be in one accord and we're going to be in one place. Now that one place is not a physical place, but a spiritual place. Yes. We're going to understand the scriptures the way God explained and, and written them. That it's the name of Jesus. Yes. Now I want you to understand something that this happened on the day of Pentecost. Now look what he said in verse number 2. And suddenly, see this thing has already happened. There came from heaven. Where did it come from? Yes. Let me tell you something. Heaven still brings some noise. Yes. Heaven still making some noise, y'all. Yes. Yes. I'm going to tell you, you ain't getting all the noise in the earth, but God's sound is bigger. Yes. You know what he said? And I and came a heaven, a noise like a violent rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And I want you to see that in verse number four, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues. Now you remember Jesus said, "In my name, yes. you will speak with other tongues." Yes. I want you to understand something. I don't know why we got a problem with this today, but in the name of Jesus, He said, Amen. "And listen, Peter ain't never heard no tongues." Amen. John ain't never hear no tongues. Yeah. They just remember that in his name, they're going to speak with other, what is tongues? Lord? I want to understand Amen. something that it happened. Yeah. Amen. I want you to understand something that the power of God is come is still here. But we why are we in the mess we're in today? Amen. I don't chase ambulances. Are you listening to me today? I pray for people, people. I had a dream and a vision about somebody who was one of the top praise and worship singers. I enjoyed her worship. I put it in my diary. And in the spirit, I laid hands on it. Months later, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. To the point, stage four. I never seen the lady. I just listened to her praise and worship. I didn't know she was sick. But gosh, from Australia, yeah. sent the vision to the prophet. Yes. Yeah. She's healed. Amen. Still worshiping God. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about the name. Yes. I'm talking about miracle signs and wonders that you can do yes. if you get your mind out of the swirly trees. I want you to understand tonight that the Holy Ghost, yes. the power of God, this is look what he did to these people. Let's look real quick. Look what he said. And, and there was many Jews, but well, let's break it down. Let's go on back to chapter two. And then, but, but and, 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 and look what he said in verse number 14. But Peter, taking his stand with the 11, raised his voice and declared to them, men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give heed to my words. But these men aren't drunk. That's right. Amen. Amen. As you suppose, for it is only the third hour of the day. I want y'all to see verse 17. You don't even hear verse 17 anymore. When I first got saved, every church I went to, every, every program I went to, we stayed in the Acts chapter 2. Amen. But look what he said. It shall be in the what? Last, last days. days. Nobody talk about the last days. Matter of fact, I got a series of tapes called The Last Day that I've never released because the world ain't ready for it. Look what he said. God says that I will pour forth of my spirit upon who? Amen. All mankind. 
mankind. Let me correct it. See, we get upset when God said mankind. But in the beginning, when he created man, he created woman. Amen. He gave them the same authority. Yes. When Eve married Adam, she became uh, Adam. Amen. Amen. They became one. Amen. I don't understand, but humankind, yeah, I'll just put it there. If you got a problem, that means anybody, anywhere, Amen. he poured forth his spirit if you believe. Yes. That's all you have to do is have faith in the name. Yes. All you have to do is have faith in the name. Look what he said. He says, and your son and your daughter shall prophesy. You prophesy to yourself, except it's reverse prophecy. You know how to worry. Amen. Amen. You know how to doubt. Yes. You know how to prophesy doom on yourself. But you don't even know how to prophesy faith. Yes. The mountain going to move. Look what he said. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my bond slave, both men and women. This thing is universal. Amen. God has no respect of persons. Look what he said. I will, even, I, I will in those days pour forth my spirit. And the signs on the earth and the Blood and fire and vapor smoke, the sun will be turned to darkness, the moon into blood, before the great and glorious day of the Lord shall come. And it shall be that everyone who calls on the name. Yes. I'm not getting caught up in the bloody moon and the sun. I want you to see that everyone that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Faith in the name. Yes. I want you to understand something. The apostles were saved that day. Yes. Amen. I want you to understand something. They were changed that day. Yes. They went from hiding that day. Jesus told them to wait until you are filled and down with power. Yes. You see, the church, we can do this tearing stuff, but I got filled with power the day I got saved. I got enough power to know that I'm not doing no more drugs. Amen. Amen. I don't need no more clubs. Amen. I want you to understand something. I lived that life. I know what I'm talking about. At the age of 22, that name Amen. can cause a beggar to leap for joy. Yes. It can cause a drug addict to no, no more to be in drugs. Y'all ain't with me yet. Yes. I'm talking to you tonight. We can clear the streets of the gangs. Amen. We can stop the murders and the drive-by. If we just wait on the Lord and call it out in his name. Yes. In the name. Look what he said. I want you to see. Men of Israel, verse 22. Listen to these words. Jesus the Nazarene, a man attested to you by God. Are y'all ready for this? Yes. This is before chapter 3. This is before chapter 4. Yeah. Peter was believing God in the name for miracle. Yeah. If you know about Jesus, you don't know about the Jesus. Yeah. You don't know about Jesus. Yeah. You don't know about Jesus. Yeah. You got Jesus tied up, going up in heaven, yeah. never coming down. But Jesus sent the Holy Ghost like a mighty Russian wind. Jesus still doing miracles. Yeah. Look what he said right here. He said, Jesus. Yeah. I want you to understand something. He said, Attested, that means without a doubt, to you by God with what? Miracles and wonders and signs. Let's reverse it. With signs, wonders, and miracles. Yes. Why are we expecting signs, wonders, and miracles? Why are we expecting God to clean up our life? Why are we expecting God to come into our home? Why are we expecting God? You don't know Jesus. I want to show something to you. Peter said the same thing yeah. in chapter 4. Amen. This miracle that God reached down with his hands with Jesus who performed miracle signs and wonders. I'm talking about the same Jesus that was in the earth, that walked, that left the earth and sent the Holy Ghost. He's still here right now Amen. to perform. I'm talking about this. The times have changed, but Jesus ain't changed. Yes. 
That's right. Look. Medical wonders have had breakthrough, but miracles beat them all. Amen. You don't need a medical breakthrough when you get a miracle. Amen. Amen. You got a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Look what he said. Which God performed through him in your midst, just as you yourself know. They know. They listen. They knew in their day. And God raised him up again, put him to the end to the agony of death, since it was impossible for him to be held in his power. I want to tell you something. Whenever sickness come upon me, I say, you don't have no power. Amen. I know the one that death didn't have power over. Amen. See, y'all afraid of sickness because you're afraid of dying. But once you meet the match of death and you let death know where you stand, you don't have a fear at all. Amen. I'm not afraid of dying because it has Amen. no power over me. Amen. Are you listening to me today? Yes. And you can read that, but I want you to go down to verse number 30, 36. He says, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know for certain that God has made him. Y'all ready for this? Y'all, when I say this, you have to reference him. In 2021, God has still made Christ both Lord and Christ. He's a, He's the Lord of your life. He's the Savior of soul. You can't get saved and lead your own life. You've got to follow Jesus. Peter said, this Jesus whom you crucified, look at verse 37, now when they heard this, they were pierced to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brethren, what shall we do? I'm talking to you, the church tonight. Those of you that's going to watch this by television, by YouTube, amen. Those that may get a CD or a DVD, I want to tell you something. Maybe you ask the same question. But you're so involved in your church that you can't find God's presence. You're just outside shaking the cup. I want you to understand something. I'd rather be, as David said, I'd rather spend one day with the Lord than a thousand years outside. Y'all with me yet? I want to be in His presence, people. I want to be able to see the night visions. I want to be able to see the open vision. I want to be able to hear the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom. I want to be able to have the operation of the gift of faith and the working of miracles yeah. and the gift of healing and the gift of tongues and interpretation of tongues and the gift of prophecy. He said it will pour it out. Amen. Oh no. 40 years later, I'm still in his presence. Are oh, you listening to me tonight? Look what he said. For it was David who ascended into heaven. It was not David who ascended into heaven, but he himself says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make thine enemies a footstool. Now drop down to verse number 38. And Peter said to them the same thing. Repent. I mean, change your ways. Change your mind. Stop shaking the cup. Stop begging God. Look what he said. And let each of you be baptized. Y'all ready for this? Yes. In the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. That's the power of baptism when you do it right. Amen. Amen. It's not taking a bath. It's not taking a wash off. It's not going down and remain coming back up the same. Because you got to, when you go down in Jesus' name. 
Amen. You coming up in a powerful state. Yes. Because look, it said, as many as the Lord our God, excuse me, he says, for the transgression of your sins, and you shall receive, are y'all ready for this? The gift of the Holy Spirit. And I want to talk right there. We done disconnected. We done disconnected baptism from the gift of the Spirit. Yes. We done disconnected the gifts of the Spirit with speaking of tongues. Yes. We done disconnected the walk in the Spirit with miracles, signs, and wonders. We don't even perform and think about the gifts of the Spirit anymore. Yes. The gifts of the Spirit would use so I can shake a bigger cup, so I can get more offerings, so I can do have more money in my bank account. That's not what it's for. That's right. No, I ain't with me yet. I ask God to always allow the gifts of spirit operate in time of necessity. I'm on call all the time. My office isn't in a building, it's on my feet. Are you with me yet? I want you to see something that he says. He says, for the promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off and as many as the Lord our God shall call to himself. And with many other words he solemnly testified and kept on exalting them saying, Be saved from this perverse generation. We're in a very perverse generation, people. Yes. We got a church on every corner yes. that fits you and suits you. Yes. You even got a church that you don't have to go to Right. And you can go to every now and then, and nobody's ever gonna say where you've been. That's right. I used to ask my mother, she talked about people. I said, oh, Did you ask them if they'll say, I, I ain't I mind my business? Are you with me yet? Yes. You can't ask nobody in church if they say, Come on. Yes. You make it hard for the preacher. Amen. You expect the preacher to do every, all your dirty work and do everything for you. Right. Pray for you. Sing for you. Shout for you. Amen. Amen. Preach to you. But don't preach on my sin. Amen. Keep it mental and philosophy. Positive. Hell is not a positive place for us. Amen. It's full of darkness. And it don't have to die to get in. It's called the pit of destruction. Are y'all with me yet? Yes. Look what he said in verse 41. And then those who had received his word were baptized and there was added to that day 3,000. Now I want you to understand something. The day they were whipped and put in jail, there was 5,000 added. You see, when you go through and you stand for God, other folks see you. Amen. Are you ready to die for Jesus? Martin Luther King took a bullet. 38 years old. His mission was complete. My eyes are seeing the glory of the coming of the Lord. Where are those people at today, people? Where are those who are going to lay down their life to save our country? Yes. Where are those who are going to lay down their life to save the church? Are y'all with me yet? And watch this in verse 41. I want you to see this. And they were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship to the breaking of bread and to what? Bread. Now the church can't even have a long Bible study. We done broke the rules tonight. We had two services in one. Amen. They look at the program. Well, you said you were going to be over at nine. I got my favorite virtual reality show on at nine. Garbage. I want you to understand something that this church, the church is still the same in 2021, is yes. the continually devoting themselves to the Word of God, the fellowship, and the breaking of bread and prayer. That breaking of bread was also a meal, but it was also communion. 
but I'm saying in prayer. I, 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 I knew the success of the church. You got to come in here praying. You heard Pastor Thomas. Amen. You got to be in prayer. Yes, amen. Because look what it said in verse 43. This is day one of the church. Yes. This is day one of the church. He says that everyone kept feeling a sense of awe, and many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. Yes. Did you get it? Yes. The church had miracles, signs, and wonders the first day. Yes. Amen. Because they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And they were baptized in the name of Jesus. Yes. Why about 2021? Why don't we see a miracle, signs, and wonders? That's the church. The church is not a choir. The church is not a pulpit. The church is not a building. The church is on the rock. The building, the chief cornerstone, Jesus Christ. That's the church. I can't call it something that is not. This is the church. Day one. And even in 2021, yes. the same church. And everyone kept feeling a sense of awe, and many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. And all those who believed were together and had all things come. I want you to understand something. That Peter left that meeting. Yes. Peter left there with power of God. Peter and John left there. They, they left there day one. They left there filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Amen. And they walked upon a man that they gazed on many times. And they said, look at us. Amen. Look at us. The man didn't know God. The man was lost. The man is just like the people in the streets today. Look on us. Yes. Look on us. Yes. Silver and gold have I not. But I got a promise that he poured out his spirit upon all mankind. I got a promise yes. that whatsoever God said in the name of Jesus, you yes. walk. Yes. He didn't ask him if he wanted to walk. That's right. He snatched him up. Yes. Who are you going to snatch out of the pits of hell? Who are you going to snatch out of sin? Who are you going to snatch out of crookedness? Who are you going to snatch out of addiction? Who are you going to snatch from the wicked ways of the world. Yeah. In the name James. of Jesus. Who is both Lord and Christ. Yeah. The name. Yeah. Won't you give the Lord some praise? Hallelujah. The name. I want you to see that the church is still in the same place that it was started. Yes. The name of Jesus. I told you 2021 was a time of miracle signs and wonders. Amen. It never left. I want you to know something tonight. Right now, he's here. Heaven is watching on 632 West Main Street. Thank you, Lord, you completed it. Thank you, Lord, you did it. Thank you, Jesus, for the opportunity. I thank you for the works, Lord, that these last days, we're living in these times, that anyone that call upon your name shall be saved. As this close out, Lord, this dispensation of your coming, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming. Let us prepare our hearts. I pray for the church being in one place in one accord. I pray for the church coming back to that day, the day of miracles, signs, and wonders. In the name of Jesus. In the name. I got faith in that name. The name. The powerful name. That you shall cast out devils. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Take up serpents. If you drink anything deadly, it should not harm you. Lord, I see your name through the streets of America. I see your name through the governments of America. I see your name through Russia, through Europe. I see your name 
through Asia. I send your name through Africa. I send your name to South America. I send your name to Australia. I send your name to everywhere that, man, that human kind exists. Let your spirit pour out upon them. In the name, the mighty name of Jesus, let the church rise. Let the church come out of the paralyzed state of bed. And let us enter your courts of praise. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for your word.